go down to this thing past the jellyfish, right? Can I even make that? Well, we're gonna find out. Okay. And then past the jellyfish. That's the safe zone. I swear to God, if there is not a checkpoint somewhere over here. Uh... Alright, I got food, by the way. I got food. But yeah, I, I totally understand if people need to go to bed. We've been going for nine hours, but you know what? I've never let a game beat me, and I'm not about to start now. Now, the thing is, is I don't know if I can get over there. Oh, you see that dangerous move I just did? Don't do that, kids. Oh, dear sweet Jesus. Oh, dear sweet Jesus. Okay, here we go. Master returns. We're too late. <laughs> Persistent little fellow, aren't you? This is where it really ends. Bring it. No mercy this time. I can't watch this. Yeah, no, this is gonna be real bad for me. All right, so we're pretty sure fire wasn't hit. Y'all said, what about Earth? I could try it. Any damage. She's moving so fast, I can't. I literally can't hit her. Well, now I'm now I'm bone. Okay, earth damage did nothing. Oh, that's what that was. I got fire on my own, lady. Well, that did no damage. Not any damage at all. So not only can she stun you, she can also hit you immediately after she stuns you. Oh, I have no more. I literally can't do anything. And she knocked me off the edge. And because I can't be arsed to keep trying... One second. Uh, let's see. What? element to use against Fender. Ice element. Of course it's ice. One thing I didn't try. Thank you. I figure I would have hit it eventually. Let's do oh, yeah, you know, just open with that. Just, just open with that. There, let me just die. That way I can, like, get full health again. Let's do it. 
Oh yeah, it is definitely ice. try that. keep getting smacked around. She has another fucking health bar. Is the game gonna give me any, like, any help at all? With my, like, no health, no nothing right now? Ah, uh, what do you want me to do, game? times and I'm dead. So yeah, that's what it's gonna boil down to. Late night Apasu, it's true. Ready? Alright, so all we have to do is just survive her when she's like this. But hey Dax, how you doing? She have no health bar. Oh, okay. How 
Carla? I don't know. Who's Carla? Yeah, that scream is gnarly. Carla, 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 Whoa, what is this? I can't move, by the way. Get her! Get her! Now, it's time to unleash the true dragon within you. Yeah, let's do it. I hit a button. Hit the buttons. Hit all the buttons. Hit her. Oh, Cinder, you're fucked. Oh. Oh, Cinder, no. Wow. Okay, this is awesome. This is amazing. Get Rex Cinder. We did it, gang. We did it. We beat Cinder. Wait, what is that? What was that? What was that? <laughs> Something just flew in. <laughs> oh, she's a baby. What the heck? She is just like me. Dude, we gotta get out of here now. I, I can't leave her behind. I've got to save her. S what? Save the beast that's been trying to kill us? Yeah, that wasn't her fault. She was being used by the Dark Master. Yeah, that really wasn't her fault. Go, Spyro, go! Yeah! Now we can go. I'm right behind you, buddy. Okay, but the Dark Master still got through. Or will still get through. My pillow. Feeling better, Spyro? Not really, Ignitus. That battle drained every last bit of my strength. I can hardly lift my head. Yes, it will take some time for your powers to return. But they will in time, young dragon. They will in time. Cinder, ever since I failed the night of the raid. I've dreamt of this day. It wasn't just you, Ignitus. We all failed. Be that as it may, we're together again now. Thanks to Spyro. Mm -hmm. Well done, young dragon. Thanks, Ignitus. But we still don't know what's happened to the Dark Master. No matter, Spyro. There will be time to talk of the Dark Master later. Now it's time to be grateful for your success. His success? Hey, what about me? Just because a bunch of weird stuff doesn't fly out of my mouth doesn't mean I didn't help you now. Yeah, you, you were a, a big help, Sparks. No doubt about it. Mm-hmm. Super big. But just for the record, a lot of weird stuff does come out of that little mouth of yours. <laughs> and what the heck is that supposed to mean? You know, I don't need this. I could have stayed with the llama people, whatever, where I was <laughs> See, appreciated. See, they were llamas. No. no, I just had to help the poor, helpless dragons. Rid the world of evil. What a mistake that was, because I get no thanks. 
no respect, no love, no credit. My goodness. And I thought Voltaire talked a lot. I left home too, you know. I'm yeah, they, this guy. really yeah, feels right. like they were trying Maybe to make a TV noticed. series. I, I 100% agree. To me than they are to you. And did I back away? Uh-uh. Nah, nah, nah. Why? Because I got moxie. I'm a tough cookie. I got class. <laughs> I got a, <clears throat> a little frog in my throat. As I was saying, on tall planes, they knew a good thing when they saw it. They recognized the value of a quality dragonfly like me. <sighs> but here I get nothing. Not even a thanks. Hey, how you doing? Good. Let me buy you a drink. Published by the go back to swamp. Vindy Games. Yeah, let's go. Heck yeah. Mommy always Heck talks. yeah, we did it. We did it, gang. Oh, God, we did it. It's done. It's This, this game is done. Uh, they did it with Tack and the Power of Juju, so I'm surprised they didn't with this. True. Good freaking game. I'm gonna let the credits roll while I eat. Because posture check and a full body stretch, you got it. Oh my goodness. Oh, what is this? Windvox gifted one subscriptions to the channel. <laughs> Did you just gift just gift Legend of Spyro to <laughs> Sub. Thank you, Vox. Thank you for the gifted sub. You know what? Save for the one fight. The one fight with the train. That was hands down the best Spyro experience I've had in a long while. I thoroughly enjoyed that. That fight with the train can go fuck right off a, a, a short cliff. Uh, but, but no, we're not. Uh-uh. No, no, no. We're snoozing that ad. That ad's not happening. Me going to the wrong faci storage facility worked out. GG's. Nice. I am. I'm glad you got to see it, G. I'm glad you got to see me beat it. Because it's. I think it's kind of rare you get to see me beat any game. Like, because you're, you're around doing stuff, so you don't really have time. Which, understandable. But, oh yeah, this was a, this was hands down probably one of the best Spyro experiences. I am so glad they rebooted it, and they gave it a proper story. Which, don't get me wrong, the original Spyro was great. The original trilogy, even, was fantastic, with the exception of Ripto's Rage. Um... Mm -hmm. You're right, I should. I should. Give me a sec. So a full body stretch. What did we have? We had a full body stretch. And we had posture check. I'm doing the posture check right now. Like you can you always you always know when I'm shrimping whenever I'm doing this. <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on. Then we do full body stretch, which is thankfully not gonna make this model go nuts. Oh, I needed the stretch. Thank you so much for that. Oh. Legs. Hips. Yes. Arms going on. Is arm action. Got some wrist. Wrist action stretches. Ah, oh, thank you for that. Uh, let me tell you, towards the end, I was getting real lightheaded because, like, it hadn't hit me that the last time I ate was, like, six hours ago until, like, at the very end. You're doing a big stretch, too? Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And nobody redeemed it yet, but I'm going to hydrate. I'm going to give myself a hydrate because I got food. But, yeah, I'm so glad they rebooted it and gave it a proper story. Because I already love this story, and they left it just open-ended enough for uh, the next game, which we will be playing. So I had the plan to keep doing Spyro through the week. What I think we might do is I might find another game to play for tomorrow and 
What is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Wednesday. Yeah. So for tomorrow, I'm thinking, are we thinking just like a chill stream? Just a chill hangout stream? Because like, I'd, I'd be 100% down for that. Just like get a, a random PS1 puzzle game or something. Do some, uh, what is it? Crossroad, Crossroad Crisis or whatever. That's that, uh, that cool little puzzle game. I'll, I'll figure something else, I'll figure something out tomorrow. But, for everybody who's here right now, seriously, thank you. For, from the bottom of my heart for sticking around this entire time. Even if you haven't been here the whole time and you've only been here, like, even a few minutes. Thank you so much for, for hanging out. We had all kinds of good raids going on. Excuse me? There was only one character modeler and one rigger? Are you sh are you serious? There was one person rigging everything and one person doing the models? Yo. Okay. I knew there'd be post credits. Let's go. See anything, Spyro? No. But I've got a bad feeling. Me too. And that's it. The Legend of Spyro. Done. Uh, what kind of extras did we get? Oh, Elijah Wood interview. Hold on. What is this? I think what's really great about this game, and what I'm excited about... Oh my god, he looks so young. ...is that it's sort of telling the story He's of Spyro such a baby. From the he's actually a, a small purple dragon that is raised by dragonflies. He doesn't realize he's a dragon. And within the story... As the story progresses, he learns of his true self, where he comes from. You know, that there are these elders, these kind of guardian giant dragons, and that he's one of, of this ilk. And throughout the game, he starts to learn more about what he's capable of as well. The significance of being a pur purple dragon is something special. The powers that come along with that. And what's really cool as a, as a player, I think, is that you get to learn these different attributes throughout and use them in different ways, um, such as breathing fire, which is kind of typical to dragons, or breathing ice or electricity. And these things just kind of come throughout the game. And it's a really, really interesting story-based game that I think is quite immersive, which is cool. If I could leave with one of Spyro's powers, <laughs> what could it be? It's tough, they're all pretty good. They um, are. I had a lot of fun with those powers. The standby, the, the ability to fly. Oh yeah, the flying. Know, that's a big deal. Yeah. Breathing fire, okay. That could be, I mean, I could really run into some trouble with that. You know, can you lessen the amount of fire that you're breathing? What if you only intend to like, I don't know, light a candle for instance, but then you light up your couch. You know, <laughs> that could be really problematic. Electricity could be good because you could probably turn, like, infuse something with power, but then how do you know, like, how, how much power to infuse it with? Like, how many amps it takes? I and mean, if you go overboard and then you burn out all of your electricity, that'd be bad. Ice could be good, but then I could see that being extremely dangerous as well. I mean, all of these things I think you'd have to learn how to regulate, because you could, you could freeze yourself, you could, I don't know, I think there's a lot of, I, I, flying's the safest. I'll go with flying. I mean, he's a character that sort of starts out entering into a world that he's unfamiliar with and taking aboard something that is kind of quite massive. It's it's not dissimilar uh, from from a, a journey that I'd taken before. Yeah, right. As someone who is embarking I wonder on what something that, journey that is, is sort of bigger than they could conceive of or bigger than them. I came in to do the session today and I was told that I didn't know who the rest of the cast were. And I came in and I was told that Gary Oldman did the voice of Ignitus. Um, which blows my mind. I mean, he's one of my favorite actors of all time. Um, a true, true chameleon, someone that you can't really peg, has done every kind of voice, character, imaginable. I mean that my time for heroics is past, but with your help, we might be able to beat Cinder. 
I, I can't, Ignitus. I just learned what I am. You can, Spyro. You can. You are a purple dragon. A very special creature. It's a pleasure to be associated with, with him because I'm such a huge fan. And David Spade as Sparks as well. Um, I've met David uh, a couple of times and he's a really sweet guy and really, really funny. And, and for this kind of character, it's so important to have someone that's sort of biting and, and sarcastic and funny. Um, Sparks is definitely all those things. And no, David Sparks is not all those things. Sparks should stay. Sparks should say Spyro, nothing. But can you hear me? <laughs> you okay, buddy? You listen. Forget about those cracks I made about your fatness and your being purple and stupid really? and fat. Of all the clips they could have used, I'm very much as a gamer, I'm very much. Attracted of all the clips to they could have used, they use a that. game that includes a great story that I can sink my teeth into, that will allow me to kind of continue to focus on the progress of the game and lead to other games. Um, you know, my favorite games are story-based games. Um, and if the story's good and the, the actual gameplay is fun, then yeah, that's, that's all you need, really. We'll figure out what to do for tomorrow, but I am, I am very happy with uh, how today turned out. That one fight aside, that one fight, it didn't, it didn't ruin the rest of the experience at all, in my opinion. Didn't know he was fat sparse. Yeah, right? All right. <clears throat> Let's see, how's my PS2 faring? It's nice and cool. That's good. Um, but yeah, let me, uh, let me do a thing here. It's so late. I don't think I know anybody that's even around at this time. Actually, you know what? I do. I know just the bean to send y'all to. Thank you for the stretch. Uh, looks like they started about an hour ago, so they are currently in there. What are they doing? Uh, they do node craft. Is there anybody doing retro at the moment? No one doing retro. Tell you what, I got a better person. I got a better person to send y'all to. <clears throat> Oh, and there's a there's an ad. Of course, there's an ad. But they're playing Okami at the moment, and I want to send y'all to someone fun, someone chilled, laid back to end your night with. Uh, but we're gonna raid out to. Rain. We're gonna raid out to my good friend and possum pal, uh, Gil. Gil's awesome. Gil's been playing uh, Okami for a while now. Uh, I think this is their like second playthrough or third playthrough, when it's like the new game plus or whatever hard mode uh so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna send y'all their way and let's uh let's do a little quick thing so gang oops hold on there we go so gang thank y'all seriously thank y'all so much for for joining in thank you for being you and being awesome and and hanging out with me for 10 hours <laughs> christ but the game, that's just it though. That like that's 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 just it. The game is that good. The game is is honestly so good, I just didn't even know that like six hours had passed. I was like three and a half hours in and I'm like, you know what, let's grab some food. We're halfway into stream. Uh right. But yeah, I enjoyed the heck out of that. That was awesome. Um, but I got all the usual places, so uh what do we got? Socials. Uh so, so, socials. Uh we got uh Discord, in case you're not already there. Bam! Uh, and, uh, yeah. I'll see y'all tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a good one, gang! Goodbye! Goodbye! <laughs> ah! Ah! Alright, let's see if the raid went through. There we go, it did go through. Alright, see you, Vod Squad Gang.